Hello, peoples. I am about to go see Morbius. Um, I'm gonna do kind of like a logging as we go thing. This is me before I see Morbius, and you'll see me after I have seen Morbius. I'm going with my grandma and my aunt because I have to drag someone with me to see this one because I'm not gonna go through this one alone. I need moral and spiritual support. As I'm about to go through this very spiritual, metaphorical, I'm um, trying to think of other words that I fancy, but experience that is about to be Morbius, Morpheus, Morbius, Morbius, the Spider-Man villain that everyone loves in the movie that everyone asked for. So yeah, let's see. Are you excited for Morbius? No. Okay, I just got done watching Morbius. Wow. Um, I know people said this one was bad, and I don't think it's like the worst film ever put on screen or anything, but I, for the first about 30 minutes or so, I was kind of thinking to myself, you know what, I might actually have some fun with this movie. And then the movie kept going, and it kept going, and it kept going, and it slowly got worse. I'm not kidding, the first act of this movie was like a 6 out of 10, I didn't think it was that bad. And then the second act was like a 3, and the last act was like a 2 out of 10. The last act of this movie is some of like the most cliche, terrible comic book stuff I've ever seen. Um, there are some scenes in this movie that are ambitious and could have, and were actually kind of cool. There's a couple scenes in this movie I was like, that's a cool idea. Yeah, <laughs> there is, this movie was predictable. Uh, it's one of the most predictable movies I've ever seen. Within the first, I don't know, 15 minutes, once they hit a certain plot beat, I knew exactly where the movie was going from there, and it was so predictable. And um, overall, this movie is just a mess in the editing room. Like, there are so many things that make no logical sense at all. So many things that make no sense, particularly in the things that make the least amount of sense are those after credit scenes, but there's still stuff like really like so non-logical within the sp sprinkled throughout the second and third act of this movie and the movie moves relatively fast for the first hour and then then it, the movie comes to a screeching halt and then it becomes in this infinite loop of the same scene over and well the same two scenes over and over and over and over and over and then this movie sets up something for the third act and then i was like i remember thinking to myself are they gonna actually do what this is setting up because there's no like moral way to really wrap this up correctly without kind of going against what the message of the movie is supposed to be but no the movie literally just ends and without without even addressing what a character said that they were going to do earlier the movie just ends like, you don't get an explanation it, it, the movie's just over um there's this one character in the movie that literally is always kind of like moving location but you don't get why or when or how they go from one place to another. And it's not like a superhero character, it's just a specific character that um, gets hurt. And so you're wondering about this character, like how do they just get back there? It, it, it's a mess. Um, the CG, oh my God, the, the CG progressively got worse. I remember within the first about half of the movie, the, the, yeah, the first half of the movie, I was like, CG isn't that bad. And they're just looking for something to complain about. Um, but no, it, it, it got that bad. Um, it got very, very bad. The last, the, well, the final battle of this movie looked like a PlayStation 2 game. It really, like, it looks horrendous. Um, the antagonist of this film, I'm not going to get into the details about that because the trailers didn't show it too much. Horrible. Horrible. It's the most, and it, it's one of the worst comic book villains I've seen in a long, long time. Um, even worse than the villain in the, in Black Widow, like <laughs> really bad. Um, the of course a character that's not in the trailers too much is Matt Smith's character. He really tried and he just missed the mark for me. Jared Leto wasn't terrible, but he was just it was still a very bland performance. But it's also at the same time kind of just like the mm, character. <laughs> it's the lead that we see in every movie. It's not trying to do anything particularly different. It's just Jared Leto. Um, I don't know if he actually got skinny for this role. I doubt that. I'm assuming it's CG, and that that was some pretty good CG. And the, I'm not saying all the CG was awful because there's some actually pretty good CG within the movie. 
it's just it was hit or miss um there is a couple of jokes that fall completely flat the movie's unintentionally funny at many moments there is this movie has a lot of use of slow-mo and it looks like a video game slow-mo you know how when you're playing a video game i don't play too many video games but i know en enough to say this you know how when you're playing a video game and occasionally um you're like an intense fight then all of a sudden things slow down like really fast and then you're supposed to hit like hit a specific button amount of times within a couple of seconds and it gets really slow that's how this movie did an effect like that about three or four times and it was so eye rolling <laughs> so eye rolling um i don't want to sound like i'm ranting it's just this movie it just it was everything um, that I feared it to be within the last two thirds because the first third I was actually kind of like this isn't that bad and then the rest of the movie rolled around and I was like oh like I knew this movie was gonna be bad I'm just happy I it's like it's I finally saw it I don't have to deal with any more trailers we had trailers for this movie for two plus years now so I'm just kind of done I'm happy this is done it's done I don't have to worry about it anymore Morbius wasn't good one of the worst comic book movies in quite a while and i'm gonna give it a 3.7 out of 10. does this deserve more probably um but i i i enjoyed the first act the first third of the movie i enjoyed it so i'll give it some credit for that and i do think a 3.7 is a little generous but um yeah um comment down below what you guys thought of morbius if you checked it out i hope you didn't so yeah anyways like share subscribe and stuff like that and adios Grandma, what do you think of Morbius? It's uh, it was a very boring movie. Uh, I couldn't wait to get out there. I kept out of there. I kept checking my watch. Okay, I, I saw that. Uh, okay. And th this grandma liked Venom too. She liked she liked the first <laughs> Venom, and she didn't care for this movie at all. So there you go, audiences.